I thank God for the day to day that the Lord has made. I'm not here by accident. And um, I'm here to testify for my God, what he has done to me, for me and my family. I thank him. I've gone through a lot. I came in this church crying with lots of tears. But now I'm crying the tears of joy. I had problems with my marriage and some other things. Then I found Pastor Dora and Pastor, I asked her to pray for me and some of the church members. Pastor Dora prayed for my marriage and I thank God my marriage is good. My husband was not going to the church we used to go to the church, me and my children. But I knew it was the work of the devil. But the Lord tells us in Isaiah 22:22, He says, "I've given you the keys on your uh, the key on your shoulder." So uh, I'm the owner is with me to open and to lock the devil. So I prayed and fasted because. Um, Matthew 17, 21 says, that thing cannot go away without fasting and prayers. I fasted and prayed for the Lord to bring my husband in the church and to change, to put some changes with the help of Pastor Dora and the preaching of Pastor Dora. I was following every word she was saying. Then I got courage. I thank God for her words, uh, the preaching, gives us courage and to stand strong. Then I started praying and praying. Once a while, I saw him telling me, let's go to the church. And yeah, we came to the church and my children were surprised. And Pastor Dora as well was surprised and some of the church members who knew about my story. So I thank God for that. <clears throat> and another testimony. I thank God we got our citizenship, me and my children. And um, yes, the devil raised this um, dust on me, but the Lord raised the standard because I prayed. Because for me, every month I pray two weeks. It's a must. Every month I have to pray two weeks, 14 days for the whole year. So. I prayed and fasted and fasted, and then for getting our passports, oh, the devil fought. I ran to Pastor Dora again. Pastor Dora, I can't get the passports of my children. The government is bringing this and that. I don't know what to do. So Pastor Dora said, we will put it in prayers. I thank God we got the passports. Another, another testimony. We were told to move out from the house. Trust me, we have a very good rent ledger because we fear God. We can't eat people's money. We, pray, we pay on time. But one day, they just told us to move the house. The owner wants to occupy it. We started looking for houses. So many people are on the street looking for houses. They can't get them. I got scared, but I said no. God, you did not give us the spirit of fear. I said, no, I have to pray. I fasted and prayed, fasted and prayed. One day I came in the church, I told Pastor Dora, they have told us to move, and you know the situation of these days. You can't get a house, so many people, and I know my community people, are um, they are going to other places. I told my children, for us, we are just here. We don't have any relative. Where are we going? Then we started looking even for where to to store our things, to put the things in the store, so as we can find a one room where to put ourselves. But I remembered, I said, Lord, I'm building for you. I contribute on building for you. You can't let me go on the street. Then I said, no, remember, Lord, I can't go on the street because I serve you. Then 
I came, I told Pastor Dora, I don't know what to do. Pastor Dora said, you believe? I said, I believe. Let's pray. We prayed together from here. She said, you're going to get a house. I said, Pastor Dora, I really don't know. It's too much on my, my neck. Pastor Dora said, Barbara, you're going to get a house. I thank God we got even a very good house, which is better than the one which we were in. Yeah. So I thank the Almighty God. He has been good for us. He has good, been good to me, my family members. And I thank for you, the church members who are praying for all of us, even if we are not in the group. But you, I know you've been praying for us.